Lonesomeness in a relationship. Loneliness is a state of mind in which you are just unable to be yourself in the presence of your companion. Depression, sadness, and anxiety can all lead to feelings of isolation. It's the feeling of being alone or disconnected from people. Some warning signs include a lack of intimacy and a tendency to hide your real emotions. In relative to married people, divorced or have never been married persons are more prone to experience solitude. Being alone in a relationship can have long-term consequences. Loneliness can cause early death as a result of lowered immunity or depression. In severe circumstances, feeling depressed and alone when in a relationship might lead to suicidal thoughts. Loneliness in a relationship, signs and symptoms. You'll feel more lonesome while you're with your partner than when you're alone. The lonely partner could be preoccupied with personal issues unrelated to the relationship. You may consider that being single is preferable to being in a lonely relationship. Keep a watch out for these red flags. 1. A decline in communication. If you realize that your communication with your partner is missing and you're upset and frustrated, it's a symptom that your relationship is unhealthy. It's a warning sign that one or both partners are lonely. In a relationship, poor communication might make you feel lonely. 2. A feeling of being unwelcome in a relationship. If you begin to feel unimportant in your partner's life, this could indicate solitude in the relationship. It may be because your companion doesn't want to be viewed as vulnerable and doesn't express a desire for your company and love. 3. A lack of compassion and warmth. The relationship may take on a cold vibe. It could be due to a lack of emotional connection or frequent conflicts and arguments. That is one of the most common causes of sadness and loneliness in a relationship. 4. There isn't enough physical intimacy. In a relationship, infrequent or unsatisfying sex is an indication of loneliness. It's probably one of the least known consequences of a sexless relationship. If couples stop physically expressing their affection and kisses and cuddles become less common, it could signal a developing loss of intimacy. 5. Diverse Pursuits After a few years, you may notice that you both have different hobbies. This contrast may lead one to believe that being single is preferable to being alone in a relationship. 6. A surge in the use of social media. If you're lonely in a relationship and can't find a warm connection with your partner, you might turn to social media for comfort, then you measure your relationship with others on social media and be acutely aware of its flaws. You may feel undervalued by your partner if you compare how everyone else celebrates holidays, marks birthdays, or marital anniversaries. Increased social media usage may result in feelings of loneliness and dissatisfaction with your companion. 7. Watch movies for comfort. If your lonely companion goes to the screen for stimulation and fulfillment frequently, it could indicate that you don't have much else in common. Loneliness in a relationship can also manifest itself in the following ways. Something is wrong when you feel lonely even while you're in close vicinity to your relationship, if you're no longer willing to share details about your regular life, including work, family, and friends, with your partner, something is wrong. Causes of Lonesomeness in Relationships You may be feeling lonely in your relationship because one of you has withdrawn. Alternatively, you may have drifted apart and are no longer as close as you once were. Here are a few things that can make a marriage or relationship lonely. 1. Incompatibility What used to be a blissful existence may be supplanted by bitterness, impatience, intolerance, and sadness. When two people discover they are not compatible, loneliness may be one of the emotions and sentiments that surface. 2. Intimacy fades Some relationships gradually fade away. You may find yourself acting the part if you experience a loss of connection and passion. Intimacy is crucial to developing a strong bond with your mate. You could start to feel isolated and separated if you don't have it. 3. Emotional or physical violence, abuse in any form can cause lonesomeness but can also lead to depression, substance misuse, or injuries. Please inform your doctor, a therapist, or a counselor if you are currently or have been the victim of abuse. Four. Long distance, whenever a partner is away for extended periods, whether for military duty or a job, the physical isolation can cause one or both parties to feel lonely. 5. Health issues, loneliness can arise in relationships if one partner has a chronic illness, 
is battling a severe condition, or is hospitalized. If you're in a relationship and you're lonely, likely, you don't discuss your problems and anxieties with your partner. You could also be relying too heavily on your partner to help you find value in life during difficult times. Loneliness has a negative impact. Loneliness increases the risk of depression, anxiety, substance abuse, and domestic violence. Loneliness is also related to a higher risk of early death. More cortisol, a stress hormone, can impair your mental productivity and make you more vulnerable to emotional and physical problems. Loneliness in a relationship, what to do? Here are some strategies for dealing with loneliness in a relationship. 1. Talk to your partner about your feelings. Maybe you both need to make some adjustments. Or it could be due to some pre-existing feelings that you will need to resolve. 2. Give social media a rest. It's normal to look at other happy couples on social networks and compare yourself and your companion to them. You may feel envious of others or as if you or your relationship are missing. Moreover, you only see a filtered and polished version of reality. Work to connect with your spouse as much as possible. Going to bed together and not scrolling through your cell phones while sleeping is an unexpected approach to improve your relationship. 3. Give your partner a hug. Once you hug your companion, you release oxytocin, also known as the cuddle hormone. You will experience a great deal of closeness when you touch each other. You'll also feel a deep connection, attachment, and trust. 4. Take care of your other relationships. Learn to devote some time and effort to organizing meetups and engaging in friendships. Remember to take care of your other essential relationships as well. You'll be made aware of how much you love others and how much you are loved yourself. 5. Establishing boundaries wherever necessary. Does your partner have tricky attitudes or behaviors when it comes to socializing? If they do, it does not imply that the relationship is inherently flawed and thus should be terminated. However, it does indicate that you will need to work on setting boundaries, which means determining where cunning behaviors must cease. Boundaries are an essential component of any healthy relationship, from your family to your peers to your intimate relationships. Healthy boundaries could include saying no to any efforts to limit your time spent with friends or rather to isolate some people. 6. Seek help from a couple's therapist. You can acquire proven ways of getting you closer together by talking to a couple's therapist. Allow this specialist to advise you alone or together on what to do to avoid feeling isolated in your relationship. Look for ways to improve yourself and your relationship when you feel lonely, detached, or isolated even with your partner. Solitude can be beneficial. It can help you refresh and offer you time to focus on yourself by allowing you to meditate, study, or reflect.